Hi guys, in this demo we are going to experiment with hide and show including animation. Uh, when we click this button, it triggers a call out and with the animation of hinge in from the top and when we click again, triggers hinge out to top. And let's go experiment this with foundation framer. I have done this, we start with the new blank project. Not going to save for this time. Okay, we start with the new blank project and single column with 12 spin. We drag a container and for this container we call it top bar we have I've done this here which I will include it into give a link in the project for later we add a top bar class and the class of top bar okay going to change the color background color slightly darker Mm, maybe take a sample from here and add to here and this is our background color for this container then next step we are going to add font icon link drag it into the container change the icon to menu menu 2 and give a class of menu change the color to white decrease the font size and align it to the right okay and we add that attribute of toggle data toggle and value value we leave it uh, we give it panel this panel id it will be our index row or container column or container which we are going to add later on so close for this we have done with our top bar second the next step is to add new row with the column of 12 span then drag another container into here for this container we are going to give a class of callout give a class to the container of callout okay for this make sure the callout wall is a container then id of panel and change the background color the same as our top bar color then that attribute is toggler data toggler and value leave the blank then for that for animation to hinge in and out we add data animate animate data animate okay for the value let's go and find the value for here we have motion ui which is slide from the right we can add this i'm going to add hinge in from top copy
Yeah. Pinch in. Copy from the top. Then I'm going to add it to in the value here. Then for the hinge out from the top, I'm going to add space. Hinge in in from top and hinge out. I'm going to change in to out. Okay. Now let's we add our element into this container. We add heading. Okay. Our large paragraphs. And for now let's we add button link as well. I guess maybe we can add menu as well here. I've not tried it, but uh, we can add do that. So change the color to white. Text as well. Okay. If we try it out now, I don't think it will work because our initial state is is not hidden yet. We have to set uh, display for the second column as none. To be able to work so let's go we go select container display none to display none to container all right try it out oops love what we have done wrong let's go for troubleshooting we have topper we have our menu, data toggle panel. All right, that's right. Then show for the container. For the container, we have call out panel, data toggler. Okay. Data animate ID panel. Oops, I've written panel. Sorry. <laughs> panel so we try it now again yeah hinge from the top and hinge out so now is to go back to our foundation firmware to beautify our for row I'm going to give background color of black and in dimension i'm going to be set it as none max with none all right then what else so we go back to our second row we have to change the max width to none now let's try out again yes now we have our second row i will call them and top bar in same size this is our call out panel and this our header uh, top header top bar has the same width so we are next step we are going to have a wrapper for this uh, container okay go back to element add a container into here okay now let's we drag our all elements in here i'm doing this because uh, i didn't want to confuse you in the first step we could do that okay so for our second container the top container which is this we are going to add width of in percentage we are going to add, let's say, 70%. And to name it uh, wrapper. Give a class of wrapper. Then margin auto, left and right auto. Yep, now we have for the content, 
inside the container we have wrapper so our top bar and uh, call out panel it has same width and we have add the wrapper for our elements here and for furthermore animation effects we can go and copy some of these effects from motion AI build in effects from the foundation site some of these effects just copy and paste into here and experiment it hopefully it's useful in your projects and thank you for